What's up Elite Thetics athletes, I'm Stefan Heria with Osvaldo Lagones and today we're going to be showing you one of the best calisthenic skills for beginners. The skill that we're going to be teaching you today is the 90 degree hold, but before we get into that, Osvaldo, why don't you show us what that looks like. The 90 degree hold is a great exercise for beginners to learn because it gets you used to carrying your total body weight off the ground with just your hands touching the ground. This exercise is going to put emphasis on your shoulders, triceps, chest, and your lower back. If your goal is to learn harder and more difficult exercises like the 90 degree handstand push-up or planche push-ups, you definitely want to start by learning the 90 degree hold because you're going to build the strength to hold your body off the ground by pushing from the waistline. This skill might seem intimidating or difficult, but if you can do at least a one minute plank and 25 push-ups in a row, you're ready to begin learning this skill. So we broke the 90 degree hold into three main progressions. The first one being the pseudo push-up hold. So you're gonna start this by getting into push-up position. Core is tight, there's a straight line from the shoulders, hips and toes. You wanna make sure your hands are pointed outward so that you alleviate the stress from your wrist as you go down. And you lean forward as far as you can, creating distance between your hands and your shoulders and trying to get your hand as close to the waistline as possible. As you lean forward, you'll notice that your feet might even come up off the ground. You want to work up to holding this progression for at least 10 seconds before moving on to the next progression. A great exercise that's going to help you build the strength in your shoulders for this progression is going to be the pseudo push-up. The pseudo push-up starts similarly to a regular push-up, except we're going to try and find a position where most of our weight is over our shoulders and we maintain that weight and lean as we go up and down in the push-up. The goal is to do these push-ups with your hands by your waistline. to the next progression is going to be the 90 degree half lay hold. Osvaldo, can you show us? This exercise starts similarly to the previous progressions with your hands turned outward, except here with the lower body, the only point of contact will start with your knees instead of your feet. Then you're going to proceed to lean forward until you can create that straight line between your shoulders and your knees. Bend at the elbow while leaning forward and raise your knees up off the ground. You can benefit from this progression as it mimics the 90 degree hold by reducing the weight of your lower body and making it easier to lift off the ground. Instead of just holding the move, what you really want to be doing is creating constant tension by pushing constantly off the ground, keeping your core tight so you can elevate off the ground and stay in that straight line. You want to get the 90 degree half lay hold for about five seconds before moving on to the next progression. However, a great exercise to master this progression will be the 90 degree half lay pumps. you're going to be falling back fairly quickly, but you want to work towards holding it longer each time with more control. This exercise is really going to help you with that forward lean, but also maintaining that push throughout the entire exercise. With this exercise, you're not just leaning forward, but you're also pushing from the waistline to lift your body off the ground. Moving on to the final progression, we have the 90 degree straddle hold. This progression is really similar to the 90 degree hold, except that your legs are spread out in a straddle position, reducing a little bit more of the weight. You want to continue to practice and scale this exercise by slowly bringing your feet closer and closer together over time until you can hold the full 90 degree hold. A great exercise to help transition from the straddle 90 degree hold to the actual 90 degree hold will be 90 degree pumps. similar to the half lay pumps except we're going to have our legs fully extended pushing off the ground while maintaining that forward lean and in the beginning you can even use your toes to help elevate off the ground but always do it with as much control as possible. Now if you've completed all the progressions to this exercise and you're still having trouble with the balance a great exercise to try would be the elbow lever. Doing this exercise will reduce the amount of strength involved but will allow you to focus on the balance.
You want to practice these progressions at least three times a week until you master the 90 degree hold. Thank you Osvaldo so much for demonstrating and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video or it helps you in any way, definitely smash that like button and share this video with a friend that's trying to learn the 90 degree hold. If you want to learn more skills like this and get into the best shape of your life, go to thenx.com, become a member and get access to all our workout programs, technique guides and daily workouts that are going to have you in the best shape of your life. Download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store and take our workouts with you anywhere and join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world changing their lives today. Remember guys, we post every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment within the first 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some Phoenix gear. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday. Harriet Music.